Okay guys, we're going to make a airlift water pump using a half inch CPVC pipe and attaching a 3 8 inch hose to the end of it and using the typical air pump and air hose to power the pump. So let's get we selected to it. an 18 and a half inch pipe. Uh, just happened to have a random size and it was long enough to fit a five gallon bucket with a few inches protruding out the end. So that, that's perfect. So first what we do is drill a hole at an angle at the bottom of the pipe. Also at the bottom of the pipe you want to cut it at an angle so it won't bottom out and continue to pull water even when it's at the bottom of the bucket. We drilled a hole at a slight angle with a variable speed bit. I like to use these although you have to be very very careful that you don't make, make the hole too big. So we've already done the, the hole, now we will insert a quarter inch air holes. So here we go, it's a one handed operation so bear with me. Okay, I had to fudge a little bit because the hole is really tight. Anyway, I'm going to strap this to the side of the pipe. But notice inside the pipe, you have a protrusion of roughly... So you noticed once inside, it protrudes about halfway inside the pipe. And it points down slightly, which is very important. Okay, so now we have our really easy to build airlift pump and we could we've attached these wire ties to the side to keep the keep the airline straight but now we're going to put the 3 8 tubing that's going to take the water to the to the first reservoir in here so there's eight inches of uh, of line and I'm going to place the tube right inside the half inch line but I'm gonna to have to cheat on this one too so I'll be back in a second. Now like I said you can force this 3 8 inch tube its final tube into the CPVC line this is potable water line and make it make a nice tight fit and the water will travel through this tube to the very end and dump to wherever you want it to go. Let's demonstrate. So we've got a very simple test setup. This is just a quart uh, pitcher. Now, or two quart I mean. Keep in mind that when this is in a bucket of solution, there's going to be a bigger volume of water, so you'll actually get more output to the pump. The deeper the water, the more output you're going to get because there's more pressure towards the bottom, towards the nozzle in this thing. So here we go, I'm just going to stick it in this pitcher and we're going to plug in the airline here. Okay, the airline is in. We're going to turn on the air to maximum and see what happens. Let me take one. Oh, there it goes already. Burning water up quite an amount actually. So it's already pumping air and water in here. By the air actually. And quite a bit comes up. Pretty good slug of it. And it travels through the end and then out the very end. So you can see that quite a bit of water is moving in. This is 8 foot of line, feet of line, so if you have a reservoir 8 feet away, this is going to be 
quite sufficient for them. They lose quite a bit of water. So you're going to get, when you set up a recycling setup, recirculation setup, using this method, you're going to get a little slow, but pretty complete circulation. So now we have, you're going to have to excuse the noise, it's raining like hell outside in the, in the middle of the storm. But now, you're getting quite a bit of liquid out there. This is nutrient coming from the last bucket when we set it up, going back to the level control tank, thereby basically recycling, constantly recirculating the nutrient. Now, this works pretty good. There's going to be quite, quite very good circulation, recirculation here. Anyway, sorry about the noise. That's what's happening right there. I mean, it's raining like crazy out here. But we're going to take this over to our display garden and set it up. We have three buckets set up in series on an automatic level control. And we're using very simple stuff to do this. 